in politics when you can help to influence or to at least make people listen to you and your opinion of things. Art helps you a great deal. Being known helps you a great deal. Up to a point. People elect because they want to elect that person. So it's not as easy as it seems. But it helps. Uh, right now, I'm just, you know, I'm on tenterhooks. I'm worried and I'm uh, not a little scared. And are you, are, but do you feel almost amped up or hopeful just with the support of the new generation? I, I would, well, I don't know about that so much. Uh, and in fact, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in, in, in finding out that uh, there are Latinos who have turned against uh, my side of politics, and we won't even go into that. It's not worth the effort. But uh, that makes me very sad. It's, it's meant almost everything I can, I can describe. It, it's, it's an honor to have been part of it twice. That's what's so amazing. Amazing. And uh, I'm just very excited. And tonight, you know, this is the most unexpected thing. An Icon Award. Wow along with Quentin Tarantino and Paul Mescal. <laughs> I keep uh, thinking of the, the uh, keep thinking of the uh, drink, the Mexican Mezcal. drink, Mescal. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> right. You're like, oh, Paul Mescal, uh-huh. <laughs> I thought he was Latino. interesting I actually think it might change the way people watch TV or see both shows for the better it was I had a wonderful storyline with Charlie that I really just appreciated so much and uh, who knows what might come out of the two of uh, all of us coming together like this okay, a continuing of the crossover yeah there it could be just that I mean, for, for us, I think it's an amazing moment. I think that the opportunity of making Spanish-speaking projects around the world and, and being able to really globalize our culture in such an amazing, positive way and also kind of like indicates in politics and the behind the scenes, it's just, just being able to have world like level of that talent and that cast being seen around the world in their first English speaking first Spanish speaking show in Hulu it was quite exciting and it's you know every year there's something new and there's something more of an opportunity so I'm just excited to be a little piece of it I've done three films with Todd Haynes who is an absolute master and watching him work, seeing his process in pre-production, how he, how he develops the look of a film and the feeling of a film, his sort of instinct matched with preparation is really astonishing to me and it's been a real privilege to watch him work. And having just worked with Jason Reitman on Saturday night, this is a man I would love to work with again and again. Uh, he's incredibly intelligent, incredibly thorough, really intentional, but also has like a, a really buoyant joy that was fun to be around and he said yes to so many ideas that I had when I came in. So I I learned a great deal watching from him as well and I would like to work with him again. I think what art can do is it can give you a you know a glimpse into other people's lives and therefore an understanding of what they might be going through and an understanding of them and what causes people to act and behave the way they do. So hopefully you know, understanding is the way you can bridge the gap, bridge the gap between people. Es es maravilloso. Uh, acabo de llegar de precisamente del festival de de Morelia y el recibimiento del público es tan bonito. Toda la gente en todos los países, en todos los lugares donde se presenta la película, al final todo el mundo acaba emocionado, acaba eh, con las mismas sensaciones de que es una película maravillosa que le, que probablemente les toque el corazón muchísimo. Entonces creo que eso para, para la comunidad latina es muy importante, eh, ¿no? porque a veces también nos maltratan de vez en cuando muchísimo y, y obviamente para la minoría a la que represento más obviamente, 
pues es también muy importante. Creo que represento ahora mismo a muchísimas personas que se sienten identificadas conmigo y que y es muy bonito porque siento una responsabilidad especial con toda la gente que, que desea ser libre, que desea vivir en paz. Y bueno, y ahora estamos en este evento tan maravilloso, ¿no? Que, que es el arte puro. This might make me sound like uh, like psycho killer, but um, I just played Gilda Radner and the honor of my life. And her hair is so iconic. And I wore this amazing, massive, curly wig for the project. And I didn't get to keep the wig, but we cut a bunch of hair out of it for it to be the right balance. And I, I kept, I kept the extra hair. And I gave my castmates little, um, like old school, like twirls of my hair. But I kept some, and I have just one with a little bow on it at home. 